Hey, what's going on, guys? Taking on here in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make the sort of echo sound effect thing that you have just uh, you've just heard essentially. So, uh, what you're gonna want to do is just open up your browser and oh fuck, that's my Epic Games, and go to this website right right here. Now, this is a so-called VST, and it is called Ambience, and this is a uh, a plugin for Vegas Pro. Uh, that most of you guys have probably not heard of. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is just go to this website. It'll be linked first thing in the description. And you're going to go ahead and click on Vin Windows VST Full. You're just go ahead and click on that and it should start automatically downloading. Now, once that is downloaded, I'm just going to go ahead and open that up real quick. Uh, and essentially, you should get something that looks sort of like this. You'll get an ambience.dll. And you'll get an ambience readme. You really don't need this. You can just go and delete that. Whatever. It does not matter. This is what we need to focus on. So to start off, uh, what we want to do is just go to our tools right here. No, we want to go to our options. We want to go to our preferences. And we want to go to the uh, right here. We want to go to the VST effects. So um, right here, there should be something called a default VST search folder. Now, you're going to want to make a new one of these somewhere that you will remember not to delete it. So just don't make it in your downloads, make it in your um, prog program files, make it in your, your hard drive, whatever. Uh, and make sure you name it VST plugins with the, uh, the correct capital letters. Uh, once you made that folder, just go into your Vegas again and click browse here. And then you just select uh, whatever, or you can also make it uh, in Vegas with the make new folder thing. Uh, but once you've done that, just go and head over to that place in your actual PC. So I'm going to see program files and VST plugins on my second monitor right here. And you just want to go ahead and download and copy the ambience.dll file over into here. All right. Now, once you have successfully installed the plugin, uh, making the reverb effect uh, or the echo effect or whatever isn't actually that hard. Uh, so to start off, you're just going to want to import uh, a song that you have. I'm going to use Run It Up. So let me see if I can just find that real quick on my monitor uh, right here. So uh, let's go ahead and go to the part where we want to reverb, which will be sort of like here. Right here. We want to reverb here. So uh, what we now want to do is just make a new video track right there. Go to the end. Go eight frames back. So right here. Go ahead and split it right there. Go ahead and drag these in and drag the uh, the end down. Now click on the track effects button right here. Just left click on that. Go up to the plugin chain and add the ambience plugin that will have appeared at the very top right here. Click on add and OK. Uh, now what you want to do is just go into the description and download the uh, the preset that is down there. Uh, obviously, the credit to whoever made the uh, the preset, it's another tutorial. It'll be down there as well. Just go ahead and subscribe to that guy. Uh, and uh, here we go. Essentially, that's literally all you need to do. So uh, this right here, the decay, this is the time that the echo goes on for. You can increase, decrease that, whatever. Uh, you should also play around with the dryness and wetness. Uh, and obviously, the damping and the EQ, I would l relatively leave the same. Honestly, it's a bit hard. Uh, I wouldn't really mess with any of these either. Definitely the quality CPU 200% and the variation can be whatever you want really. Uh, but yeah, just go ahead and just fade that out. And if we go ahead and play it back, uh, it should sound like this. Just like that. And what we actually want to do to uh, get this back sort of is to just, just drag that out. And we split it right there and we just drag this part to the other side. And uh, this is the next beat right here. So if, you, if you're doing this with an effect and you want to just uh, leave it up, just select like a, a time distance right here, a time frame where you want to sort of leave it. Uh, I would recommend that you just drag this under, put the beat here and just drag that in so that you have sort of the same amount of uh, what's called like reverb or whatever. Uh, and then you just separate those, you drag that up again, and you fade it in. Uh, make sure you drag it to the reverb layer, and then just drag that up. And if we go ahead and just play it back, it just sounds sort of like this. Just like that. And in that time, you have the time to, you know, do the effect that's in the uh, 
the video. Uh, I do have a tutorial on that exact effect. It'll be linked in the description. Uh, this tutorial was mainly, you know, for the actual sound. Uh, but if you're interested in the actual like presets I use, the, uh, the tutorial will be in the description as well. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you did jump, like down below, come subscribe, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in a couple days and peace.